When we have a gas, for instance, and we're stating that we have an ideal gas, is um, this equation applies PV equals nRT, where P is pressure, for instance, measured in atmospheres pascal, pound per square inch. We have, for instance, V, which is the volume, and the volume is, for instance, cubic meters, liters, or, for instance, cubic feet, or whatever. And then we have uh, another, which is T, which is the temperature. And this temperature is, for instance, uh, in Kelvin, or in another absolute scale, which is called ranking. And this has to be, for instance, absolute. We cannot measure this in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Then we have other two, for instance, N is the number of moles. And we're going to talk about that a little bit. And then we have a universal constant of gases, which is R. This is a constant, and this is universal. N is the number of moles, and the number of moles is the amount of mass, or, well, of molecules which we have, for instance, uh, in a gas. Uh, we can state, for instance, due to Avogadro's number, uh, that any given mole, we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of whatever we're talking about. It could be, for instance, a mole of air, a mole of uh, any given gas, which is hydrogen, helium, or even uh, we can uh, be calling, we can be talking about any liquid or whatever. There are going to be 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules each mole. So once we have related the number of molecules with the number of moles, we can state, for instance, uh, that due to the molecular weight, which we call it with M, we are going to have, for instance, any given number, it depends on the material, of how many uh, grams we have per unit mole. So, for instance, this is mass over number of moles, and this is the molecular weight. We can relate them uh, by the molecular weight, and this is in the, in the, uh, in the periodic table. For instance, carbon states that we have 12 grams of carbon each mole. So, for instance, if we have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules of carbon, we're going to have um, 12 grams, or they are going to weight 12 grams. R is a constant which relates, for instance, uh, R is a constant which relates, for instance, PV over the number of moles per T, and if any given combination of pressure volume over moles temperature will give the same constant. The first one is going to be 8.314 Pascal times cubic meter mole Kelvin, this is international system. These moles are related with grams. Another one would be 0 0.082 atmospheres times liters over mole Kelvin. And once again, the moles are uh, related with grams. The English system one will be 10.73, and this is when we have, for instance, absolute pressure, and we have to be working with absolute pressure. That's the reason why we, why we have an A here. And cubic feet, a pound mole, so this mole is related with pound, and ranking, which is, for instance, the absolute uh, temperature scale. So, when do we use each one? It depends on when what we're using in each term. And of course, we can do conversions with this. If we have a closed system, for instance, we have a cylinder which is closed with a piston or whatever, and we have a gas inside, then um, N is going to be constant, R is going to be constant, and recall that NR is, for instance, PV over T. So since these are constants, we can state that pressure 1, volume 1 over temperature 1 is going to be equal to pressure 2, volume 2, temperature 2. And this is only working when we have a closed system.